Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new video. Uh, this is uh, a next version of my video of best goalkeepers on Championship Manager 0102 and this is looking at best fullbacks on Championship Manager 0102. We're going to do what we normally do, start off at the top and make our way down. So number one is Roberto Carlos. As we all know, Roberto Carlos is an absolute legend in real life and on this game. His stats actually speak for himself. Uh, acceleration, 20. Flair, 17. Set pieces, 20. Determination, 19. There's so many pace, 19. There's so many amazing attributes towards this player. And the really good thing about this guy is actually... I see this guy move around on this game quite a bit. So that means that he is actually uh, accessible to buy. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to buy him if you're Russian and Diamonds in Division 3. This is a player that you need to be, you know, a, a very big club in order to attract him, first of all. And secondly, you have to have the money. You know, that is the key thing here. You cannot bid for this guy if you don't have the money and you know the price tag of him is 12.75 which is an incredibly big amount of money a large amount of money but is he worth it it's up for you to decide really I think 28 years of old you get about three good seasons out of him you probably will get that money back in terms of what you would get at the end of the seasons anyway but it's your it's your choice Next one is Lillian Turam. He plays at right back and again, acceleration 20. When I'm looking at these guys, I'm looking at fullbacks. I do like having fullbacks that have a lot of pace. I think your fullbacks in this game should push on a lot more. I think when you're looking at it, it should, you know, I like to play a five at the back. I like to play two fullbacks, one left, one at the right, pushing forward and three center defense, central defenders on Championship Manager 0102. Uh, this guy is really good. He can actually play in both a central defensive role or a right back role. And this guy is really good. And again, he is another player that I see regularly moving on this game. He normally goes to top clubs like Arsenal on this. 11.75. Uh, again, his age is an issue. He's 29. You know, you will only get a couple of seasons out of this guy. But again, it's your choice. His stats speak for themselves. Cafu, again, another old guy, but 31 years of age. Acceleration, he has got 20. Pace, he's got 18. So he's still got that with 106 caps for Brazil. This guy is an absolute legend, and he is a Roma legend as well at that. He will get you assists, this guy. Now, obviously, 31, about two seasons you've got of him, I'd say, where he's at his full best, where you can actually push him on that right-hand side in that full-pack position and actually let him roam up the field. Um, that's what I notice. I think after two or three seasons, he does start to tire. You start to see that his um, his actual you know recovery takes a bit longer than other players. But nevertheless, he is a good player. And, you know, he's 8.5 million. He's one that I rarely see move around on the game, actually. So maybe his loyalty is with Roma on this. Uh, next one we've got is Vincent Candela. Now, talk about having really good fullbacks. Roma have two amazing fullbacks. Uh, they've got Candela on the left, and obviously who we've just seen on the right there, which is Cafu. Candela is a very good player. He's 27. Uh, I like that about him. He's got his best years ahead of him. 6.75 million is the price tag for him. He is a regular at Roma, so you know he's going to take some persuading uh, to, to actually for them accepting a bid uh, because he is one of their best players. Uh, the French is well. He's got. He's obviously got 23 caps um, for the France for the French international team, and he is. He's 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 fairly average. I think as the season goes on, his stats will grow, and you'll notice that actually the potential of this guy is very very good. Uh, going down, Mikel Silvestra, a young Mikel Silvestra, 23 years of age, acceleration 17. You know this is going to improve as time goes on. You can see he's already been capped by France <clears throat> uh, with eight caps and one international goal. He does get better on this game. Pace is 17. He will get better. He's 23 years of age. Um, it depends really whether United play him or not. You can see that they've played him there um, from 99 for the last two seasons. But you never know with United. They tend to buy players quite quite frequently, so they might be in for a chance there. Julio Arca is the next one. 20 years of age. Look at the flair on this guy. If you want someone who's going to push up the field and really attack players, this is the guy. 20 years of old. He's got one cap for Argentina already, which speaks volumes, really. Um, he plays for Sunderland. In this game, Sunderland were actually really good with Kevin Phillips and Niall Quinn up front. So, you know, you may have to pay a little bit more money than $2 million. But I think that's not a bad buy, to be honest with you. Next one is the legend himself on this game. 23 years of age, Michael Duff. Acceleration 18, pace 18. This guy turns into the best fullback on the game by a mile. I cannot highly recommend 
anyone any more than Mike Duff on this game. Everyone needs to get him. Everyone. 28 grand from Cheltenham. Very rarely do you have to go over the 100 grand to buy him. And what's really good is, you know, you can be a Division 1 team and bid for him, you know. And I think that is absolutely amazing that you've got someone of that quality who is just ready to go straight away. And he is ready to go straight away. And I think that's what's so difficult sometimes in buying these players. Because you have so many good players. Say, for example, if I was... Um, um, let's just uh, say Roma with Cafu at the right back. Obviously, you want to play Cafu. You want him. You want him to. You want to get his attributes and use them wisely. But this guy, whenever you play him, he always averages like an eight. He's just a ridiculous player. He will always push on and do the job for you. Next one from Shakhtar. There are many players from Shakhtar. Can I just say now that you need to be looking at on this game? Is Isaac Akanaru? I can never say him. I can never say him. This guy plays in every position at the back, which is really good. Acceleration 16, pace 17. Um, dribbling is 12, that might let him down. Uh, tackling is 16. I think that this guy is absolutely phenomenal. Um, normally, we go to Agahawa when it comes to Shakhtar. He's worth 20 grand. You, you do have to go above that, but what's really good about this guy is he does sign a new contract normally, and there is a minimum fee release clause that you can exploit. Uh, next one is Jamie Victory, 25 years of age. He is, you know, some Premier League players do tend to, to buy him. You know, he's flattered by the interest in Aston Villa has been shown by him. Um, but, you know, he's one of those ones that, yeah, he's got the pace and what you need. So if you're looking for someone who's going to run up that wing, uh, and he's in his prime 25 years of age, and he's cheap, you know, if you want someone like that, Jamie Victory is your man at Cheltenham. Uh, last but not least is the legend himself, Taribo West. Uh, Taribo West can pretty much play um, left back or centre back uh, for your team. I've picked him here for left back simply because of his acceleration, his pace. That's what I've gone for. His tackling is, is obviously 16 as well. His strength is 20. Um, I just think this guy can play anywhere in the defence. He is absolutely amazing. And obviously, as you can see, he costs absolutely nothing on the game. The problem with him, obviously, he attracts a lot of interest because he is a quality player who has just recently uh, been on loan at Derby, but he also played for Inter and AC Milan. So that just shows why there is so much interest in this guy. But most of the time, if you play the contract correctly and right, you know, and safely, he will join your club. Right, guys, that is it. These are my top fullbacks, my top 10 fullbacks on Championship Manager 0102. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this.